Hello, so in today's session, <clears throat> we're going to explain how the nervous system causes the muscle filaments to move. Good. So, the muscle fibers are cells of the muscular system. So, the muscular system composed of muscles. These muscles composed of muscle fiber. Okay, these are the muscle. This is the muscle, sorry. This is the muscle. So if we zoom into the muscle, we will see we will see the muscle fiber. Okay. So the myofibril myofibril is the basic unit of the muscle. So this is the muscle. We zoom in, we find muscle fiber. We zoom in here, we will find something called myofibril. Myofibrils are long strand strands of protein in the muscle fiber good so muscle muscle fiber myofiber the myofiber is a long strands of protein in the muscle fiber good so each myofiber is divided into circomeres circomeres so where are the circomeres here the myofiber divide into circomere, circomere from this line to this line, this line to this line, okay? Circomeres contain filaments that cause contraction. So the contraction starts within the circomere. The filaments inside the, cir the circomere will start the contraction. What, like when you're writing, when you're uh, practicing uh, in the gym, when you are playing PlayStation, when you are running, when you're walking, when you're doing push-ups, when, you, when you're doing whatever, whenever, the filaments inside the circomeres will start the contraction. So, again guys, muscle, this is the muscle, inside the muscle composed of the muscle composed of muscle fibers muscle fibers composed of myofibril myofibrils comp are composed of circomere the circomere inside the circomere we will f we will find actin filaments are pulled during contraction so what are these actin filaments i will show you in a second so the actin filaments are pulled during contraction Myosin filaments pull actin during contraction. How this has happened? So, let's take a look here, guys. So, we have the M line and the Z line. Okay, let's take a two steps back. So, this is the Z line. And inside here, the M line. This is the center, M line. The side here, it's the Z line. Okay? So, the Z line and the M line, we have, this is the Z line, this is the M line, okay, this is the myosin, and this is actin, you see this small th long thing, this is actin, and this red, dark red is myosin, so actin, myosin, with the Z line and the M line, they compose circomeres, okay, so in contraction, the actin, will uh, in, uh, will move to the M line, okay? Causing the myosin to uh, filaments to pull actin during contraction. Let's see together. So, one minute, please. Okay, so, again, guys, this is You'll find here a muscle, muscle fiber. Inside the muscle fiber, we will find uh, 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 the muscle. Inside the muscle, we will find muscle fiber. The muscle fiber composed of myofibril, myofibril composed of sarcomere. The sarcomere, we will find Z line and M line. Okay? Now, if we are doing any kind of practice, like this, for example. So, in this case, the sarcomere is moving. The sarcomere is contracting. They are contracting. 
Okay, how this contraction happens? Step one, myosin head attached to a binding site on the actin filament. So where, where is the myosin? These are the myosin. This is the actin. Okay, guys, now Z line, M line, and myosin actin. Good. So the myosin head, this is the myosin head attached to a binding site on the actin filament. This is the actin filament. This is the attaching site. Okay. So what will happen is during contraction, the myosin will rotate. Okay. Will rotate, pulling the actin filaments closer together toward the M line. Okay. The center. And the sarcomere will become shorter and shorter. Good. Now, this head release from the actin filament ATP used in the process. Okay, so a lot of ATP guys will be used in this process. So again, let's 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 review this. Now, Z line. This is M line. Actin filament, myosin. This is a binding site between myosin head and the actin filament. During contraction, the this binding site, the myosin will uh, rotate and pull the actin filament inwards toward the center, the M line. Okay, so in this process, ATP will be used. Now. The, the step one through three, sorry, step one through three repeat until the sarcomere is fully contracted. This is the full contraction of sarcomere. The full contraction. The actin filaments are attached to each other, okay? And the Z line, the M line disappear. So the sarcomere will become shorter. This is contraction. Okay. Now. So in this, this is how the contraction happened. Okay. The neuros, the, the neuron stimulates muscles, of course, because uh, the muscle will contract. But before this, the muscles must uh, must get a stimuli. So uh, the nervous system is, is responsible for contractions, for causing contractions and movement. So the neuron stimulates, as we will explain later on. So, so the neuron stimulates muscle at the neuromuscular junction. Okay, where is this neuromuscular junction? This is the neuron. This is the muscle. Okay, the neuron through the muscle into neuromuscular junction. Okay, think about guys, the communication center in, 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 in a school, in a company, in a state, the communication center, it's the neuromuscular junction because this communication center will get the data, then it will release the data. And this is, in, in this example, releasing the data means causing the movement inside the body. Okay, now. Neurotransmitters cause calcium ca channels in the sarcomere to open. So neurotransmitters, again, would cause calcium channels in the sarcomere to open. The calcium exposes binding sites. Myosin binds to actin and pulls it. This is how. So uh, this is the actin, guys. This is the junction. Let's see it. Uh, as the sarcomere shortens, the muscle contracts. Let's take a look here. Okay. So, this is where the junction, this is the site where the actin connects to the myosin. There's a regulatory protein which causes the channels, uh, the calcium channels to open. Calcium will expose, okay, binding sites. 
Myosin binds to actin and pulls it. As the sarcomere shortens, the muscle contracts. Okay? This is how the contraction guys happen. So, to, to sum it up, this is a contraction. Before this, a muscle, fiber, bundle of muscle, bundle of fibers, a fiber, a myofibril, exactly, inside the myofibril, sarcomere. Sarcomere composed of myosin filament and actin filaments. Good. Let's continue. When we contract, the sarcomere will get shorter. How this happen? It will happen because here the myosin head rotates, pull active filament close, closer together. Why? Because there is a binding site here. The binding site will pull the actin inward toward the M line. Okay? It will repeat this process using ATP until a full contraction reached. Okay? Now, how this happen neurologically? Neuron to stimulate muscle in the neuromuscular junction. Okay, neuromuscular junction, neurotransmitter cause calcium channels in the sarcomere to open. When this happen, calcium exposes binding sites. Myosin binds to actin and pulls it inward. As the sarcomere shortens, the muscle contracts. Okay, guys, I hope you understood the session.